The angry drug lord drank alone. There's a poem in there somewhere. <laughs> you know better than me. Never was the literary type. How'd you even manage to connect with Martin Lee? I'm top of my game. Ah! I don't go knocking. People find yeah. me. Ah. No, you ever wanted to team up? We could do some yeah. real damage. Could punch Tombstone for days and he wouldn't feel it. Wonder if the counter drug would work on him. Boys, get in here! You remember the last time we did this dance? The killed the whole game. Hurts when it rains, but otherwise dandy. Sweet if you act. I can't use the counter drug till I take out Tombstone's gang. With your name on it, fighter. Ah, so flattered. But the exploitation of suffering thing gives me pause. I need to clear out his blue like my product. All the complaints. You have your marketing department cook that name up? I am the marketing department. Ow! Feels like Shut punching us to a wall. Just The drug and those inhalers only last a little while. Gotta strike when it wears off. Need me to recommend a good dermatologist? Just no reason. Hey, you wouldn't want to take a break, would you? Oh, Ron, you tired? Someone's been skipping cardio. He's wearing down. I'm close. Agent, the huge. Uh, hurt me. I don't remember the last time that happened. Welcome back to the human experience, Ronnie. Uh, he's exhausted. Time to end this. Man, my tongue's still funny. My tongue's supposed to feel funny. Oh, yeah, totally. 100% normal. I think. <laughs> Someday, Lonnie, I want to find you doing good. Running a soup kitchen or something. Soup soup pays, I'm in. Your crazy drug lord days are done, please. Sure, for now. Hell of a run, though. <laughs> Not quite how I'd describe it. Oh! That's new. Too much to hope you'll be taking it easier now that you're, uh, you know, mortal? <laughs> Not a chance. Threat of death just ups the thrill. Hell of a left hook. Can't wait for the rematch. I can. Hmm. <laughs> I like you.
Well, that was dramatic. Wonder how long Tombstone's powers will be negated for. Probably not long enough. Eat spiders. Our next caller was involved in a frightening hostage situation. Tell us about it, please. Oh my god, I thought I was gonna die. The Spider Man got involved and he's totally unconcerned with your safety. Well, he did save me. Through sheer luck, you could have been brutally killed. Yeah, sure, but I, I could have been killed if you wasn't there. Let's refrain from unfounded speculation and focus on solid established fact. Spider-Man does not care if you live or die. Pretty close to blind. Ought to look for towers to activate.
the emails from the rapidly shrinking yet still stubbornly obtuse contingent of Spider-Man fanboys and fangirls blithely insisting he did a wonderful thing, shutting down a drug lab run by a delightful fellow whose street name seems to be... Wait for it! Tombstone! Now, I'm glad he's behind bars. But do you know how Spider-Man shut this operation down? By setting it on fire! Do you know what drug labs do when you set them on fire? They explode! Spider-Man could have taken out the entire block with his criminally reckless grandstanding. Fortunately, New York's bravest, our firefighters, contained the blaze because that's their job. And if Spider-Man had any sense, he'd have turned over whatever information he had on Tombstone to the police and let New York's finest do their job! But no, he thought the best way to handle drug dealing is with arson! the impossible, Doc. But now I have to destroy it. With a little creation of my own. to beg? Not gonna happen! <laughs> the world will know the truth before they mop you off the pavement. <laughs> Tell them what you did! I... never... <laughs> Everything you have is built on lies! Lies! <laughs> You stole my company, my ideas! Now, the truth. The truth. Okay. The truth is, you were only ever worth a damn when you worked for me! The truth is, you could never accept that I'm better than you. You're a failure, Otto, and you always will be. Oh, 